so I'm exhausted, right? <laughs> um, I've been driving since two thirty in the morning, and that's Eastern time, right? Right now it's two o two p.m. and I still have about know, another eighteen hours to make it to Los Angeles. But um, yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm definitely exhausted. Um, taking a break right now. I just finished eating. Um, but now I'm taking this time to kind of uh, talk about when we get tired. You know, not just tired physically, but, you know, I mean, sometimes you get tired physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, you know, all at once. Sometimes it's just emotionally, sometimes it's just spiritually, sometimes, <clears throat> sometimes I apologize, sometimes it's mentally, sometimes it's just physically. But when it hits you at all times, at this moment, I think it's uh, I'm mostly physically, I'm mentally tired, emotionally and spiritually, I'm fine. But um, but these are the times that, you know, people use to kind of beat themselves up, right? You get tired, and, you know, you just start thinking about everything. See, right now, if I wanted to, you know, I could either, I could take the route, so there's three routes, always three routes. In my opinion, you could always take the negative, positive, or the neutral, the neutral route. See, I could go positive and just, you know, you know, lift my hopes up and and uh, lift my grace, you know, all kinds of beautiful things and just fill my head with just amazing things and just give myself that high. I could think negative. I could think about all the bills I got to pay. I could think about the business failing or... You know, I just started the business three, four months ago. You know, I can think, think about all the pressure that's causing. I can think about, you know, just so many things, all the risks that I'm taking, right? I mean, technically what? I slept four hours, which is a lot, in my opinion, last night. Before that, it was about two hours, a couple hours in total. You know, 15 minutes here, an hour here, because you know, I just went from Indiana to Idaho, flew back to Chicago, into Indiana, and the times that I was in the airplane or in the Uber or in the train, I went ahead and just uh, took the time to relax. You know, but um, but I slept four hours last night before getting on the road. Uh, for me, that's a lot. You know, um, it wasn't consistent. Sometimes consistent. Um, I usually wake up. I don't know how many times a night, but either way. <clears throat> I can easily put myself into a positive place, a negative place, or a neutral place. Kind of, it, it, it is what it is, right? If it's neutral, it, just, it is what it is. Um, for me, I'm thinking positive. I'm taking the positive route. You know, it's life. Regardless, regardless how you look at life, you know, this is the way I look at it. You know, if we're atoms, if we're made up of atoms, you know, you have, you know, protons, neutrons, and electrons. To me, life is, regardless, has negativity, positivity, or some neutrality. All necessary. Pain is necessary, right? A lot of people look at, you know, pain as something negative. But, you know, let's say that pain is that that electron, or that, that, that kind of holds up, that like makes up an atom. Still makes up an atom, you know? Uh, let's say when good times are good, I mean, good times, obviously, good times are good, but you know, when the good times hit, you know, let's say that's a proton. And when things are just, you know, kind of balanced and just flowing or just uh, just calm, sometimes that, you know, a lot of people call, you know, being calm boring, but when things are boring <laughs> or calm, you, you call that, you know, neutrality, something neutral, a neutron. So, you know, this is the way I kind of look at life regardless. You know, it could be in a scientific manner. You can make that into some kind of emotional aspect. But it, it's life regardless. You know, they say, uh, you know, 10% is what you can do, create. You know, the, the other 90% is what happens to you. So it's all about reaction, right? So it's, if it's all about the way you react, but also with what you can create, but it's more reaction than action. 
then you got to know how to take the blows, how to take the hits. We all know this. This is this is always being told to us. It doesn't matter how many times you you uh, you know like like what is it Rocky? Is it Rocky that says you know doesn't it, doesn't it matter how many times you can get hit. It's how many times you get up, right? You get hit seven times, you get up eight, right? I think uh, some of the NBA said that. But either way, point is, is that I could take this time being tired to, to, you know, put myself down. Life is already hard, right? Naturally, regardless. Regardless of how you look at life, you have to work, right? You have to make things happen. <clears throat> Talking about work and earning stuff, regardless of how you look at life, you have to earn it. You have to. You have to get up. You have to move your legs. You have to move your arms, eyes, body, whatever it is. That's part of life. That's another contract of life, right? One contract of life with life is pain, right? The other contract with life is you got to work. And I'm not just talking about, you know, uh, in a corporation or under a job, you know, under under a company. No, I'm talking about just natural life, regardless of how you look at it. You know, if you're a parent, if you're a kid, doesn't matter what it is. If you're some kind of species, you have to put in some kind of effort, some kind of work. When you put in that kind of effort or that kind of work, whether it's you know for positive positivity or negativity either way both of them either route you have to put in work right there's there's so many animals that have to you know go out and hunt they got to go out and build their their nest they got to go and build a dam but we got to build our homes we got to find their food too right only because it's a little more artificial under a system that's human, right? That that was that was created by humanity. That's what artificial means. Um, it doesn't mean nature doesn't apply to us. We still need to do something to get something in return, right? And that's the way I look at life. And if if anybody knows anything about like we talked about before, alchemy, right? Like I talked about the anime, Full Metal Alchemist. You know, <laughs> they talk about equivalent exchange. You have to lose something to gain something else, right? Now, it doesn't have to be a bad thing. It could be bad, it could be good, it could be neutral, right? But it's the law of the universe. You have to put in some kind of effort, lose some kind of energy to gain something else, right? You lose an electron, you know, to, for an other atom to gain that doesn't mean only because you lost you're not going to gain something else you lose one electron you're going to gain other electrons right if you can look at it in that scientific manner or <clears throat> whatever you put in something's going to bound to come out there is literally no such thing as something going to vain you just didn't get what you want and something i've learned is that it's, it's not it's not about getting what you want it's who you are why why is that you know a true fact is because what you are is your actions right your habits your thoughts everything that you are and that's what you attract and something i tell people is you know be careful where you're putting your effort right why because let's say you want to my my same example that i always make and tell people is <clears throat> If you want to be a track star, right? If you want to be a cross cross country champion, why are you over here practicing football, right? If you want to be a mathematician, why are you studying science? Be careful where you put your effort. It's not only just effort, because oh, okay, so I'm just go ahead and you know run a mile. And that's gonna make me into the best math mathematician. No, you know I, I know it doesn't make sense, right? It should be obvious. But it isn't that obvious when it comes to, you know, any kind of system that you're under, especially a monetary system. 
So if you're trying to get somewhere, make sure that you're following the path you want to take to receive what you want. A lot of people waste 10, 20, 30, 40 years, 50 years, and expect something in return, right? They didn't realize the consequences. They didn't realize everything has a consequence. Everything, every action has a reaction. So be careful where you put in your effort. So if you're gonna put in your effort into something, <clears throat> make sure you study, make sure you ask, Make sure you look at the situation well enough to understand that one plus one equals two doesn't equal three. <laughs> I know it sounds really simple, but life is not that easy, right? Just make sure that your efforts, the energy that you're putting in, which means the energy that you're losing, whatever you're gaining, you make sure that you're getting exactly what it is you want. Now, <clears throat> I've been too, way too tough on myself on, with that, with that fact, because I'm really harsh on myself. I say, man, I wanna, I wanna do this, this, and that, and I, you know, sometimes I do it perfectly, and I still don't get the, the, uh, the outcome that I that I want. <laughs> and it could be about money, it could be about you know working out, it could be in sports, it could be in anything that I do, and I get aggravated and pissed. <laughs> Sometimes I'm impatient. Sometimes you need patience. But something I do realize, <coughs> excuse me, choking. Something I do realize is that <clears throat> sometimes life isn't fair, right? You could put in 20 million hours in, in a job and, you know, still get a couple of cents out of it. No, that's not, not your fault, but you still get something in return. No, nothing goes in vain. Only because you didn't get what you want doesn't mean you lost. Right? Doesn't mean you lost something. You're always gonna get. You just gotta find that and take that. You know, and and let that be your your success. Let that be your win. <coughs> losses are usually <coughs> losses usually happen when you don't get what you want. <coughs> but you know, if you're looking at it in a competitive manner wins and losses, there's also this thing with losses, right? You only learn, you only grow. And your wins are always gonna gonna be what you aim for. Right? So, you know, when you're tired, <clears throat> don't put yourself down. When you look back, don't put yourself down. Don't beat yourself up. Don't be too harsh on yourself, because I am. So this is why I'm sharing it. Always count your, count your blessings, count your wins. And if you're gonna look at your losses, look at what you learn from it. And if, obviously that because of that loss, <coughs> you didn't end up getting what you want, because it's a loss, right? Then look at what you did get from it and turn that into a win, right? Obviously. So, I don't know. Hopefully that, that helps. We're still hours away from getting to Los Angeles. You know, I've been filming all day, um, and uh, but I've been stopping, and every time I stop, I've been trying to, uh, you know, share something with you guys. So, hopefully, you guys like it. If you guys have anything to comment on any of these videos, please comment. Please do. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you follow. You know, I'd deeply appreciate it. You know, um, and uh, yeah, just go ahead and, and comment, and I'll go ahead and you know I'll try to answer your questions. Uh, but if not, you know, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, hopefully a little bit of advice helps anybody that's watching this. But I'm gonna go ahead and lay down because I'm tired, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, I'm exhausted, so I gotta take a break before I keep driving. So, talk to you later.